Hey guys, it's nice to see you back for lesson number two. Now, last lesson, I challenged you to take a look at one of your fears, examine it, figure out where it came from, and then actually share that fear with someone. And how did that make you feel? Uh, were your palms sweating, your heart start beating a little bit? Probably because I was asking you to do something you were afraid of. Now fear, scientifically speaking, is a really important survival tool, but unfortunately, it's also a really strong marketing tool. I remember I was 10 years old when I started realizing that my body didn't look like everybody else's and that that was actually a bad thing. I was over at my friend's house and she had a bunch of YA magazines and I looked in the magazines and they were full of pictures of beautiful girls. Uh, articles about losing weight, articles about uh, tips you can try to um, achieve this perfect body. But the problem was I could never look like a photoshopped model. And the truth is none of us can, but I didn't know that at the time. And then all my other peers started talking about these magazines and so we would all try these diets together. Some people would succeed and some would fail. But the rest of us that would fail started feeling really bad about ourselves because the, the article promised that it was going to be four or five easy steps. So you can't sell a product without creating a demand. And the demand that they created was we all needed to be perfect. The problem is perfect means different for everybody. I didn't know that, so I continued the cycle for the next 15 years. Then things went from bad to worse when I became a mom because I got this. This right here is a thing that we've been taught to be afraid of. Scars, wrinkles, bulging skin. So I did what anybody else who was afraid would do. I covered up and I made sure that nobody saw it so that nobody would know that I failed to fulfill this obligation to go back to my pre-baby body. Now the truth is, again, I didn't like my pre-baby body to begin with, let alone this post-baby body. So I figured that would be it for me. But then I started doing uh, some things for myself. I decided I was going to do a 5K. And I started doing my runs, and at first it was a disaster. But slowly I stuck with it, and I became really proud of what my body was capable of doing, and I bought a two-piece bathing suit. That bathing suit sat in my drawer for about three months until one day I decided to try it on again and my daughter walked in on me as three-year-olds do because they don't understand uh, what closed doors mean and she looked at me and she said mommy when I get big I want a belly that looks just like yours I don't think I was prepared for her to say that my fear thought that she was going to cringe or that she was going to question why my tummy looks the way that it does, but it didn't. She just looked at me and she wanted to be just like me. So it really made me examine, again, this fear, where it came from, and challenge it. So we went to the beach and I wore my two-piece and the world went on. So this week, I'm challenging you to look at one of your fears, examine it, and then challenge it face on. If you need ideas, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, help out. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. If you like the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget, you can follow Power to Prevail on Facebook, Instagram, and at the blog at www.powertoprevail.co.